Actors Catherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy were Hollywood royalty but the stars still spent romantic weekend together in British Castle. The pair were no stranger to the glitz and glamour of the world's top hotels, but they enjoyed Trist 5, 209 miles away from Sunset Boulevard, in Barmore Castle, Northumberland. The Tinseltown romance was an open secret among the Los Angeles elite from 1942 until Trass's death in 1967. The leading lights of Hollywood's Golden Age were spotted at 1960's dinner party at the Castle, hosted by previous owner Bill Sitwell and his American actress wife Joan Castle. The Grade 2, listed site, 11 miles from the Scottish border is now home to Luxury Lodge and Caravan Park. Owner Jamie Lamb said, We had an open day and local fish merchant called. He had been asked to serve special menu at party for Bill. Joan and VIP guests. When he walked into the dining room he was amazed to see Catherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy. The Chatelaine of the castle had invited her famous American actor friends to stay. The Lamb family bought the castle from Bill and Joan in 1979. Although great love affair, Catherine and Spencer tried not to be seen in public together. Added Jamie, 37, who runs the park with his mum Anne, 65. He said, the parties here were legendary. They would think nothing of spending one pound, 200 on booze. That was lot of money then, even for big stars. Hepburn's romance with Tracy is said to have started on the set of 1942's Woman of the Year and the pair went on to star in further eight films together. Tracy was keen to keep the affair from his wife Louise Treadwell. He and Hepburn retained separate homes to avoid being the subject of gossip and she never pushed for marriage. Although Tracy separated from his wife, he never divorced. Hepburn didn't attend his funeral and did not to speak about Tracy until Louise's death in 1983. Later, in her 1993 autobiography, she wrote, I loved Spencer Tracy. Would have done anything for him. Joan, vaudeville actress and Broadway star of the 30s, lived in Northumberland for 20 years, returning to New York before her death in 2009.